So, hi, uh, welcome back to another MaxSurf tutorial. Uh, this tutorial we're going to look at creating chines along the length of a hull. Uh, I've got a design set up um, and uh, there's, I'm going to be putting a chine in uh, between the DWL and the uh, center line of the boat or the keel. Um, this will mean that I can create a multi chine. I've already got a chine in here just above the DWL. Um, but having another one will give us a multi chine and we'll flatten off the hull in the uh, keel region. So I'm going to go straight ahead and I'm going to make the um, the body plan view uh, visible, more vi maximize the screen, uh, zoom in a little bit, um, and I'll go to the second frame in from the bow. Uh, I'll also I'm going to turn off my surf.net because I'm really just interested in this section here. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two more control points uh, in this section and then I'm going to use a thing called or the the, um, the element compact which will compact them together and uh, will create a maximum stiffness between the two. So first off we'll go up here and I'll add a control two control points on this blue line one there and one somewhere below it. Um, and you, if you then scan down the rest of the frames, you'll find that they are uh, added two control points down the entire length of the vessel. So what I'm going to do is go back to my second frame here. Uh, I'm going to highlight them. And then I'm going to use the compact bu button here. Um, and I'm going to compact the two together. Now, straight after compacting them, I'm going to group them because if I don't group them, they will still add or they will still work as independent control points. Um, and then they'll give you the flexibility in the curve again. Um, so I'm going to select both points and I'm going to uh, group them here using the group command. When I group them, uh, they'll go red. And you'll see that I can then just click them and they give a stiffness between the points which will straight give you a straight line and a chine. So I'm going to have to do that on every single um, single set of frames. So I'm just going to group them together, uh, compact and then immediately group them. Moving down I'm going to select them again on that frame. I'm going to compact them and then I'm going to group them and I'm going to do this all the way down. I'll speed it up now so that uh, we can get through it. So that's uh, all of them compacted together and then grouped from uh, frame two all the way through to the uh, transom. I'll go back to frame two now and um, I can start m uh, moving them uh, to the shape that I want to create a chine. So frame two I'm fine with, I'm just going to move down, frame three will be all right, frame four, um, frame five I'm happy with, um, and then I'll start to then bring a flat, flatten the section through. to create this multi-chine variant. So there we have, um, we've got our, we basically have created another chine point running through here and then another chine up here. So we'll have a look at that, what that looks like in our perspective view. We can then just scroll around and you'll be able to see straight away, uh, we've got a nice flat section on the bottom, which then transitions through a chine to the flat section on the top. Uh, and then we've got our top sides which are curved to create our top sides that we want. 
Now, whenever you're working with control points, um, remember that you can uh, always input the, uh, the position that you want in, uh, in this box here in the control points. So for instance, uh, this control point here has a height of 0 0.021. Well, we might actually want to just keep that at 0 0.00, um, which will give us a, a completely flat section. Um, and we might want to go through and check them all. Uh, this one's got a height of 0. Go with that one. That one's will change to 0 as well. And we can then ensure that the points line up on the same plane, uh, which may or may not be a benefit to you. And I think from there we'll start raising them uh, back up to the bow area. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, you can do this uh, in every single view, and, and after you've put a set of control points in, you do need to go and check them uh, in the other views to see if uh, you're happy with the position. So here we've got one that's slightly, uh, slightly in my eye, a bit low, and I'm going to bring that one up. Um, you can also, don't forget, change the position here again. You can change the position in every view if you want. Uh, we'll have a look in our plan view. And you can see straight away we've got two chimes. One running through here, where we've got our compacted and then grouped um, control points. And then we've got another one running through here as well. Um, this point here looks a little bit high. So I might want to drag it back. Um, this one looks a little bit low. I might drag it up. And then we'll go back and see what that looks like in our perspective view. So that's how you compact points to create chines and multi-chines. Um, thank you for watching and I hope, uh, hope it's been useful.